Hi, I'm Leticia with Davis Insurance, and today we're going to go over the sensor maintenance on your Vantage Pro 2. Let's get started. If you have a UV sensor or a solar radiation sensor, you'll simply need a soft cloth. For the UV sensor, you can use, when necessary, denatured alcohol to clean the diffuser and around the diffuser. A dampened cloth with water is just fine for your solar radiation sensor. Again, wiping around and on the diffuser. Make sure not to touch the diffusers as you can deposit oils from your hand, which will leave the sensors inaccurate. For greatest accuracy, you'll want to clean your rain collector a few times a year. Start by removing the debris screen and emptying out any leaves of debris that may be in the cone. Next, we'll move to cleaning the tipping buckets. Dirt and debris can collect on your tipping buckets. You'll want to use a damp cloth to clean them. When necessary, use mild soap and water. Make sure to clean the drains as well. To access the temperature and humidity sensor, we'll need to take apart the radiation shields. You'll start by removing the three screws using a Phillips screwdriver. You'll want to place your hands under the shields when you remove the last screw, otherwise they'll just fall apart. The top plate has the sensor on it. The other plates can be put aside until you're ready to put it back together. Use a soft bristle brush to clean the mesh. If there's a lot of debris on there, you'll want to take the basket off and give it a good cleaning. You can use mild soap and water to clean the mesh. Make sure to give it a good rinse before you apply it back onto the sensor. To reassemble it, just do the steps in reverse. Your anemometer needs little maintenance, but to give it a good cleaning, simply remove the wind cups. With a damp cloth, wipe the shaft. And to clean the cups, use mild soap and water. Give it a good rinse, then reapply the cups. When reinstalling the cups, make sure to push them all the way up as high as possible, then tighten the set screw. 